Hello, art nerds. So today we have got a scorer box and I've seen inside it. Anyway, um, let's get straight into it. I've made a mess already, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, one strip. So let's get into it, cars stuff and yeah so <laughs> oh god oh brains misfiring already so we have this this is a sea white of brighton constantina sketchbook did i pronounce that right maybe maybe not who knows um so because i i saw the contents of the box yesterday i've been trying to think what i'm gonna do um and I'm not sure if I'm going to use this because it's too good to swatch in and stuff. And anyway, let's. Uh, someone's at my front door. I'm going to ignore it it's because I'm filming. Am I going to ignore it? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, uh, art supplies, and we have the zine and the print. I've thrown that box so far, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. Okay, Zine, so there's the print. This is the featured artist. Hang on, I'm going to have to pause. Okay, so yeah, I'm back. Uh, so this is the featured artist. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this. So, Zutong Wang? I don't, I'm not sorry if I pronounced that wrong. So, uh, Zhu Tong is a illustrator based in China. Her work has received awards such as the Derwent Art Prize, American Illustration, uh, Society of Illustrators, and so on. She treats her illustrations as a method of communicating using beauty, accuracy, and interest as the basis of her work. So there it is. Okay, we'll keep the zine for now. Um, we'll get into the supplies. What have we got going on here? There's quite a lot of bits and bobs in here. Chuck that. So we have the sticker, which matches the zine. So this is the menu card, the scroller challenges dish of the day. So it's time to play it up on the menu for this month are some ingredients you can use to whip up some culinary delights inspired by the whimsical illustration style of our featured artists well i know already that i'm i'm not going to do draw food <laughs> um i'm going to take a different interpretation of that prompt um and if you've been watching for me a while i'm sure you can probably guess what that is already <laughs> um so we have um the pilot b2p eco ball I've seen these, um, they sell these in the range and every time I go in there I um, I think about buying them and I've got I've got loads of pens so I think well, I'm just putting more plastic in the environment aren't I because I've got loads um, but getting one in this is fine um, so that's cool so that's a rollerball I believe like it's a writing pen but you know you can so yeah so it's a one millimetre tip ballpoint pen and comes in four colours so does that mean we're getting a surprise I don't know I've got, well actually I think one of my friends has got a blue pen and this looks like it's going to be black so anyway so these are quite good because these are made from recycled bottles uh, I think it says some made of 86% recycled plastic from bottles, um, including 2.5% reclaimed ocean plastic. So that's really good, isn't it? Um, then we have this Derwent blender pen. I I have. I think it's the same one. I don't know where it is, but I didn't like it. I think they're just basically full of alcohol. But we'll have a go. Um, and this is the Derwent. Fine art pencils. Um, so let's have a look at these. Um, I can't get excited about pencils, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, so these are the colours. We have silver grey, madder carmine, oriental blue, pale peach, gunmetal, and light violet. So when I look at these, these are virtually identical to the colour palette we've had in the, uh, is it May 
2021 Scorer Box, so that was the Posca pencils. But never mind. I mean, it's fine. Um, but yeah, like this, it's it's slightly different. They're not exactly the same, but it's it's really really similar. Um, anyway, so that's those, and we have a Bimto chew bar which I can't eat. So um, I, I'm going to start a Scorer Box sweetie jar. Which yeah, I'm gonna do something with that. Anyway, um let's just have a look at the zine because I'm rambling. Oh I know what's coming up in this. <laughs> I know what's coming up. So here's the supplies. Um Well, so what it says here about this pen, it says adding a blue outline will give your work a different vibe. Well that's fine because I've got a black one, so okay interesting oh i'm just glad it's not red oh, imagine that um so anyway that's all the supplies and the suite and the sketchbook which i'll open in a minute sit down with the featured artist so that's their artwork my kind of thing but i know a lot of people like that um so we've got things to try artist advice behind the artwork um yeah so I'll read that because I don't really use them. Um, so here we go, Scroller Gallery. So I already know about that. Uh, I'm just seeing how many of these I recognise. So remember Nick, Emily's in here. And I think that's it, apart from this one that she's made. Ha, ah, look, I got top three. <laughs> A bit embarrassed about that, but also quite pleased. Um, yeah, so that's great to try to uh, not lose this um, zine this month um, a bit extra scroll extra and a bit about the scroller star there so that's that so let's have a quick look at this sketchbook like I um, I feel like if I'm gonna use it for the scroller challenge I'm gonna be wasting it so um, I'm just gonna check I think so I have this is the lights of Brighton and um, yeah it's the same paper so in this i don't know if you can read that um it says each page has two times 140 gsm sheets joined for stability so they're like double sheets 140 gsm so i think what i'm going to do is actually use this sketchbook here instead because i don't want i don't want to waste it on doing a school challenge and having one picture in it um this is sea whites of brighton and it's the same paper but it's not a concertina um so it's still 140 GSM. Um, that's just free cartridge paper. It doesn't say, but I think they're the same. Um, so I'm going to do that because, yeah, like I said, I just don't want to waste it. I think um, I've actually got one of these. I've got an A5 one of these. I'm scared of it. <laughs> but anyway, here it, yeah, it feels identical. Yeah. Um, so these are quite cool. They come in this box. So it's like keep it shut, keep it protected. Um, and then they're like a concertina and you can use both sides because actually, let's see. I don't know if you could actually open that out into, no, you can't actually open it up. So you can't use the other side. I don't, at least I don't think anyway. Mm, no, um, So, but you can use like both sides like that. But I just, I feel like I'd be wasting it for this challenge, so I'm going to do my scroll challenge on the same paper, but in a different sketchbook, which is my actually my my main sketchbook. Um, but these are these are quite cool, anyway. Um, I did have a little idea of what I might do with it, and it is kind of based on the prompt. I thought it'd be really cool to do like a rainbow food thing, but I don't have the right pencils. So if I had the right colour pencils to do that, I'd do it, but um, I don't. So anyway. Um, I am um, going sw <laughs> to swatch, don't I? So, I'm going to do the swatch in time lapse because I've been blathering on far too long already. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I've forgotten. Um, I don't think there is. Let me get this pen out. Put that over there. Over there. Um, so, yeah, I have a page in this inboard sketchbook. Um, and I'm going to swatch here and I'm going to do the score prompt here because um, I'm not confident with that size, it's really tiny as well. Um, I 
just yeah, I just want to use it for someone else. Something, someone else, something else. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch now. Okay, so I've swatched everything. Um, I think these pencils are going to be really hard work. They're not. Um, this is gun metal. Gun metal's darker than this. It's just not that saturated in colour. I suppose I'm not. I'm not a coloured pencil expert, but I don't particularly like a lot of brands of coloured pencils that I've used. I don't like polychromos. So. Someone's going to give me a thumbs down for that. I don't think their um, their colours. If you compare their colours to a Posca pencil, they're um, they're not as saturated. They're a little bit um, they're desaturated. Um, and these are just oh, I don't know, maybe I just need to wear them in a bit. They're just um, I know that's a light grey, but come on now. Um, I don't know. They're a lot of people said they're scratchy. I'm not getting that at the maybe when I'm using them properly, but I'm not getting that at the moment. They're not they're not overly smooth, but they are so I wouldn't say they're scratchy either. Um maybe it's just me. Anyway, <laughs> um I've also used the pen. And as I suspected, I don't like it. <laughs> um yeah, I mean you can you can draw colour out with it. It does pick up colours. Be wary of that. I don't like this. I don't know if you can see. I don't like this effect. It, you know, if you're going to use colour pencils, keep the texture. That's the whole point, isn't it? Keep the texture. In. I don't, I don't really, or if you're going to burnish it, don't use. I don't like that. I'm not sure what it's achieving, to be honest, apart from making... I think it looks horrible. To be honest, I think it's a really rubbish effect. Um, and I'm sure other people might enjoy it, but I just... Ugh. It, it kind of looks like when you've over-blended alcohol markers and you get the weird... almost see the colour of the paper through them when you've overworked them. Probably because that is got alcohol. I mean, that's it. Hmm some kind of stuff. I don't know if it says blending pen. Your new best buddy. I don't I don't agree with that. So I don't it's professional quality alcohol based blender pen. Excuse me graphite, I might try that later and thought that. Use with a light hand for best results. This pen will become a go to with smoothing out pencil lines and I don't think it will. Um, yeah and they're expensive 5 99 I remember when I bought these originally thinking they were massively overpriced so they must be brilliant and they were um, I wonder if it does anything to this. Oh, it does. It does melt the. Ah, so I could use it to smooth that. We'll point out a bit, but anyway. Um, that's my now horrible looking um, page. My horrible looking swatch page. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some art now. But like I say, I am not gonna. F I am following this prompt, but I am taking um, a very uh, Zoe approach to it. So um, we will catch up at the end. <laughs> Say you 
Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so you've made it to the end. Um, this took me about two hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Um, so the idea of this, because I, I've, I didn't want to draw food. Um, I, I, I've never drawn food, so it's not really, I wouldn't even know where to start, to be honest. And I didn't want to stress myself out drawing something I didn't know how to draw on a video. Um, so I've gone the other way. So I, um, I don't know how much this is said now, but like you would refer to like heart throbs as dishy and stuff. I don't know if that's really a phrase that's used now. Um, I, <laughs> so I choose that care from. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I had visions of like an old, I don't know, like 90s or 2000s teen magazine with like dish of the day. <laughs> dish of the month or whatever so <laughs> um that's why i did that um i think i used everything apart from the the light gray was just a little bit too light um oh and i didn't i didn't i'm touching these for a reason um i didn't use this because i just don't like the effect they give but i i think i'll probably use this without alcohol markers because it, it is alcohol based um and then in addition just for transparency i did use um 2h pencil a ruler from a rival box <laughs> um, and this I don't know if anybody's seen this before but this is actually a really tiny eraser um, so it's made by Tombow and it's from their mono range but it's really great for small details so I use that and then um, I always use a gel pen highlight so that's what I've used in addition um, but yeah I'd use these I use the, the, all the colours and I use the pen and Blah, blah blah it's really annoying because you can't in the light see how much color there is on the page um i think it's it's the light has bleached out a lot of the shading that i've done but you can see it a little bit better there um but yeah anyway um i had good fun but that's no surprising <laughs> there drawing this um I'm probably going to practice some food now. It's made me kind of think that I should practice drawing food because it's not something that I draw. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I I was pleasantly surprised how much I enjoyed using the pencils. I'm not really a fan of colour pencils. Um, I recently got a, a box from another company that was centred around learning colour pencils because I don't, I just use them how I think they should be used and I thought I should really like learn some proper techniques. Um, but I, um, I haven't, I haven't learned anything yet. I've unboxed it. The video's on my channel, but I haven't, I haven't learned anything yet. Anyway, um, I'm rambling, but I, um, yeah, I actually really enjoyed doing this. Um, I really enjoyed doing the shading on the face. Um, the hair, not so much. Um, but yeah, the shading on the face, I really liked doing. Um, and yeah it's nice to do a portrait in a different color palette than just like either graphite or doing them um like the colors they should be or similar um so yeah let me know in the comments below um if you liked the video um if you did like the video and you're not following already give us a subscribe because i do try and put out um as many videos as possible um i usually say that i aim for one a week i don't always do that but um yeah i do try to put out a, a few videos a month um yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up because that really helps the algorithm um and if you like scroll box like the look of scroll box i should say and you want to subscribe for yourself there'll be a link below where you can get three pounds off your first box when you take out a subscription um but i'd like to know your thoughts on the box um i've seen a lot of mixed feelings online about it um a lot of people are really excited a lot of people not too fast so i'd like to know what you think um, and if you want to find me in other places, all my social media accounts are linked below. And until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.